Super Coders, welcome back to Super Coder Kid. Today, we're doing something super exciting. We're going to create a simple AI assistant in Scratch. This AI will read our questions, check if it knows the answer, and give us a response. Ready? Let's dive right into it. All right, the first thing we need is a block from the events category, the when green flag clicked block. Next, let's set up a list called log. This log list will act as our AI's memory, keeping track of everything our AI says. To get started, we add two blocks from the data category. First, we use delete all of log. This block clears the log at the start, so every time we run our code, it starts with a fresh log without any old messages. Then we have show list log. This block makes the log list appear on our screen so that we can actually see the conversation between us and our AI assistant. Now it's time to start the conversation. We'll use a block from the sensing category called ask and wait. Here, I'm typing type anything inside the ask block. So our AI assistant will prompt us to type a question or a message. This block pauses and waits for us to type something. Once we press enter, the AI will read our question and decide what to do next. We're going to need two lists to get things started. Lists in Scratch are like little notepads where we can store lots of information. A question list, where we store all the questions we expect from our user. An answer list, where we store the answers that match each question. Let's look at the code step by step. Don't worry, it's simpler than it looks. The code starts with an if else block that checks if the user's answer matches any item in our question list. If the answer doesn't match any question, we add a message, make sure the question, to the log list. This is just a friendly reminder, kind of like saying, hey, try rephrasing your question. One, if else block, control category, go to the control category and drag out an if else block and drag out a not block. This block lets us check for a condition when something isn't true. Three, equality, check block, operators category, Next, inside the not block, we go back to operators and pull out an equals block. Place it inside the not block. From the variables category, drag out the answer variable and put it in the first part of the equals block. Then, drag the question list and place it in the second part of the equals block, adding code for when there's no match. Now, let's code what happens if there's no match in our questions list. One, add to log block, variables category, in the then part of the if else block, go to variables and find the block that says add thing to list. In the first blank, type make sure the question. And in the second blank, select log from the drop down menu. This will add a message to the log list to remind the user to check their question. Next, let's add code for when the user's answer does match a question in our list. One, add answer to log, variables category, in the else part of the if else block, go to variables and get another add thing to list block. This time, drag the answer variable and place it in the first blank. Then select log from the drop down menu. This will add the user's response to the log, showing that it was recognized as a valid answer. Two, add matching question to log, variables and operators categories. Now, let's add the matching question to the log. Get another add thing to list block from variables. In the first blank, we're going to build something a bit more complex to find the correct question item. Go to operators and pull out an item. Number of list block. Place this inside the first blank. Now, go to variables and drag the item number of thing in list block. Place this inside the number part of the item. Number of list block. In the first blank of item number of thing in list, Drag the answer variable from variables. In the list blank, select question. This will find the position of the matching question. Finally, put the answer list in the item number of list block so it grabs the correct answer. This step adds both the user's answer and the matching question to our log. But when I typed a question it knew, it responded with the correct answer. Perfect. And there you have it, Super Coders, our very own AI assistant in Scratch. This simple project helps us learn how to use conditions, lists, and responses to create a fun interactive experience. Try adding your own answers to make it even smarter. Thanks for joining me today. If you loved this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on what other projects you'd like to see. This is Eva from Super Coder Kid. 
keep coding, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.